Tonight on Primary News, we will take a look at what's going on at Walnut Street Elementary School. We will also have a look at some of the new curriculum. Primary News will start in two minutes. Hi, I'm Albert Pujols and I play baseball. Today I'm going to bat for kids who need dental care. Every child should be able to eat, sleep, and learn. Well, that's pretty hard to do when you have a toothache. Tooth decay is one of the leading reasons why kids miss school. The American Dental Association Give Kids a Smile program wants to help. Kids cannot be healthy without good dental health. Visit our website and give kids a big smile. Please visit our website at givekidsasmile.ada.org. Mini bars right over there. Phone if you need to use it. Bed. And what is that? Oh, that's a double chin. Ugh. The guy who checked out must have uh, lost it just snacking on fruits and vegetables. Have a good stay. What's it like when you hear your calling? Will you remember where you were? Will you ignore it? Or will you listen? What if it calls you to go halfway around the world? To share your skills? To serve people you've never met? To do things you never thought you could. Peace Corps, life is calling. How far will you go? Hello and welcome to Primary News. This is the Wall Street Edition. I am Nash. And I'm Sophia. And we're your hosts for this evening's broadcast of Primary News. Today we're going to share exciting news with you about our building staff and students. And later tonight we will discuss how our school is preparing for the upcoming park test. But first up tonight, during the month of January, we had a great news that Miss Lepley, one of our first grade teachers, was nominated as our Teacher of the Year for Walnut Street School. She is an excellent teacher who works very hard in order to help her students succeed in the classroom. There was equally wonderful news that a similar reward was given to an educational services professional at each school. Our recipient, our recipient for this year's learning consultant, this Mrs. Dina Kibble, her role in our school is to develop educational plans to help students gain strength in areas of need. Ms. Kibble was recognized in the 71st annual edition of Who's Who Among Students in American Universities and Colleges. We are so fortunate to have Ms. Lepley and Mrs. Kibble here at Walnut Street School. They are passionate about helping children achieve success using the Common Core curriculum and feel fortunate to serve our children. The teachers of Walnut Street and the child study team make every effort to provide accommodations and modifications to help all students reach their potential while gaining confidence in and outside the classroom. Speaking of curriculum, kindergarten through second grade teachers have implemented a very positive and resourceful reading program designed specifically for the Common Core State Standards for Reading Language Arts called the, and Language Arts called the Wonders Program. They are very excited to see the children responding so well to the new program as they continue to build strength in reading and writing. Students are taught to find and use text as evidence to support their writing and are given opportunities to speak with their peers during the lessons. Through the Wonders program, the teachers are provided the instructional support and materials intended to teach foundation of the new standards. It is time for us to take a short break. but. Coming up after the break, we will look at how Walnut Street, School, Walnut Street is continuing to help their students excel. 
and we take a look at another staff member who is making a difference. Stick around, we'll be right back. Something's happening to the polar bear. Arctic sea ice is melting away. Two thirds of the world's polar bears will be gone by 2050. And the entire species could be extinct yeah. by the end of the century. Go to savethepolarbear.org today. I used to have a goat. Where did it go? I went to a family who really needed it. You see, giving a family an animal is like giving them a business. The wool, milk, eggs all turn into income for medicine, school, clothing, a better home, a sustainable livelihood. Soon the family is passing on the gift of the animal's offspring to another family who does the same and on and on until the whole community is lifted out of poverty. That is where my goat went, and that's why you give to Heifer International. How far would you go to help someone? Would you go to the end of your driveway? Would you cross a street? Would you cross an ocean? Would you go if you could use your knowledge to teach someone? And in the process, maybe learn something yourself. Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. 626,000 investors. That's how many people SIPC has helped since 1970. $505 million. Over half a billion dollars. That's how much SIPC has made available from its reserves to help investors. Over $15 billion. That's how much SIPC has made it possible for investors to recover. What is SIPC? It's the Securities Investor Protection Corporation. An investor's first line of defense in the unlikely event that a brokerage firm fails. It doesn't happen very often. But when it does, SIPC is there for real people. Like me. And me. And me. And you. Take the time to learn more about SIPC at www.sipc.org. Welcome back to Primary News. I'm Nash. Mrs. McClellan, one of our very special kindergarten teachers, shared her excitement for full day kindergarten next year. She feels the Wonders program will continue to help children develop their oral vocabulary and inspire them to want to read. Walnut Tree School schedules many special programs to help communicate with their parents and school community about the new and important happenings within education. A few of them have included Literacy Night, Title I Night, and Park Review Night. As shared by Dr. McCarrick, research supports that certain characteristics help a child be, ha be a happy and successful student by informing our school and family community to better assist our children. We are creating a strong foundation for them to become leaders, develop a strong work ethic, and be involved in the classroom as well as extracurricular activities. Teachers provide students the ability to learn to think critically, solve problems, and prepare to face challenges. Children that gain confidence and motivation to take advantage of opportunities in the classroom. We are fortunate to be part of Walnut Street School, where the teachers are dedicated to always being prepared and flexible with the new material and resources they are given to better serve us. Speaking of new resources, our school is now using the new Google Chromebooks to practice navigating the web. With a focus on practice tests, tests Mr. We Mr. Wyckoff has said they've been a hit with the students and they are doing very well with the new technology. The students in the Wildcat Technology Lab are currently creating PowerPoints entitled All About Me. This gives the students the chance to talk about themselves and share their interests with their class. It is a positive way for a child to learn about their peers in a comfortable environment. The students pre present their PowerPoints in the, right in, in the front of the room, which also helps them with their oral presentation skills. 
Mr. Wyckoff does an excellent job providing students with the tools needed to perform successfully on the computers. As you can see, we're very busy here at Walnut Street and op are optimistic of use of our new Chromebooks and how dedicated the teachers and students have worked in preparation to make the park best. Thank you so much for tuning in with us this evening. I'm Sophia. And I'm Nash. We hope you enjoyed learning about our school. Let's now take a quick look around our school. Our halls are de decorated with some amazing artwork. Here's a look. Remember, if you have a story you'd like us to cover, or if you have an announcement about an upcoming event, please send it into school mail to the TV studio at High School East, or you can email us at tv21 at trsschools.com. Also, be sure to tune in TV21 throughout the day to catch this show as we bring you stories from around the district. Also, please take a look at our web website, www.trschools.com slash tv21. Well, that wraps up tonight's show. For Tom's River School today, I'm Sophia. And I'm Nash. Have a great night.